Why do you hate my lips? <laughs> I don't hate your lips, Andrew. <laughs> I yeah. said Korea, bro. I was like, you went to visit Kim Jong Un for no reason. Yeah, Korea. No, no. I, I, that guy's my homie, bro. I'm like Dennis Rodman, anyway. <laughs> well, we're the greatest Bitcoin journalists of all time. Shout out to Andrew Schultz because we're the greatest journalists of all time. That's what it is. <laughs> and we are back. Good morning. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Fundamental Podcast. My name's Andrew Pingo. We're here with Tristan Denham Pond, and we are with Cyantha Nika today. The person that's with me in the trenches studies the same degree <laughs> as me in the trenches. But like yeah. an interesting reason why we have her today is because she is an artist. Yeah, she's a super special guest because she did us the biggest favor we could ever have asked. And <laughs> <laughs> she is basically she's family of the podcast at this point. So yeah. The, the logo that you see, the beautiful logo, she designed that for us. And she also did that fantastic like caricature 3D artwork of me and Andrew as the host. I'll show it so, here yeah. and then we'll pro- 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 probably post it on our Instagram and yeah, put it in post, you know, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> somewhere here. You'll see a close-up. You'll, you'll see a close-up. And yeah, no. And we just want to say welcome to the pod. How are you feeling? Thanks, guys. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but... Mm. Like I feel like as you progress, it'll be fine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Gotta break yeah, the ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. But anyway, so we wanted to speak to you also about your artwork that you do because it's quite a new thing, I think. Very the new. Artwork. Very new. Yeah. So what I did when I like started out, I like checked on Instagram and I was like, wow, there's not a lot of like accounts and people who actually do this. Yeah. Especially people who do it for commission. Yeah. And like, I saw like a gap in the market. So Mm. I was like, it's a great opportunity for me. And like art is like what I do on the side anyway. Yeah. Like I just do it when I'm like have free time or like I'm not busy. So I thought like if I can profit out of that, then that would be great. And like, you know, just, I just like, like engaging with people and. Yeah, definitely. That as a business is like, has been great for me. Yeah. So you say you started on the side before you did the digital. So were you just drawing or painting or like, what was your medium? Um, I was just using pencil, pencil and paper. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 Did you do art at school or was it just like something? I just did it in like grade eight. Mm. My parents didn't let me like take art because. um, It's a fraud subject. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Basically. Like, what are you going to do do with with art? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> you're gonna live in a shack in Paris and eat cheese all yeah. day. All you're gonna <laughs> smoke cigarettes in Paris. That you're gonna become a jaggy. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. You're I'm gonna, gonna f- look like me if you do art. You're gonna just rock up in a polo no, for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, in between, just oh, so on the side, right? We're yeah. just like, okay, cool. You yeah. started drawing. When did you figure out, like, oh, damn, I'm pretty decent at this? Probably like. In grade eight, like in art class, because I've always been drawing, like even Mm. in like primary school and stuff. But when I actually like started to get taught about stuff and like how to like properly do things, I was like, wow, like I'm actually like really good at this. Like it's not even like I don't even need to practice because like I can just, Mm. you know, do it. And yeah, I've like I've always loved art and like drawing and expressing myself in that way. It was that like your athlete, like your creative. Yeah, for um, sure. Like. Even like when I'm happy, I'm mm. upset, like I just draw. Yeah. yeah. That's so, crazy. I mean, I could never do that though, because like just the proportions throws me off so much. Yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> I for find sure. It's so difficult. Yeah. Like the head will be like that big and then the legs. How did you learn? What yeah. Did you do? Yeah. How did you yeah. learn? Did you do you do like the traditional art thing of like drawing circles or like talk us through your drawing process? Like how do you do it? Like, okay, so like for commission art and yeah. stuff, obviously it's like of people mm. or like of a dog or something. So they'll send me a picture of what they want and I'll literally like put it like on the app and then there's different layers that you can work on. So the first layer will be like the actual picture. Okay. And then the layers above that, I'll just like draw above that. And then when I'm finished, I'll take the last layer off, which is the actual, mm. then I'll be left with like oh. the proper proportions and stuff. Okay, so, so I don't actually have to. The template. Basically, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it was, it was very difficult because we, we look like 
we should not be taking the photo off. <laughs> no, man, don't say that. In the beginning, I can't die. It was very difficult because yeah. it's it was like a whole like mm. new thing for me. And I really like struggled to like, you know, figure out how mm. to do things and like all the technicalities because there's a lot on the app that I'm using. I'm using Procreate, Procreate. right now. Yeah. Okay. It's very proper. It's like the best one. Is it not that's like available. Adobe or is it like not Adobe? No, no. Oh, no. okay. It's called. It's like a drawing app. Okay. Yeah, with like different brushes and colors and all of that. So it's basically like um, a canvas, but mm. instead of a canvas, you have an iPad. And instead of brushes and pencils and stuff, we have a pen. So it's yeah. like paint yeah. on steroids. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Without the mess. <laughs> that's what I'm going to give to my kids one day. I'm going to be like, here's an iPad, do your artwork. Don't draw on the wall. What you <laughs> Bro, that's actually like low-key clever. That's like yeah. semi the future. Yeah. yeah. So, base, so you trace us, you do all this, and then you do like, you do like all the, like the details and stuff like yeah. that. You know? How do you get like everything to look so realistic? Like, for example, the clothes and like our faces and the hair, especially. Yeah, I mean, um, the hair is it's so so much detail. Like, yeah, it's hairs. a lot of hair. Yeah, so there's like obviously a lot of different brushes that come with the app and like that I made myself. Mm. Like the hair and like the beard texture and stuff that came with the app, but obviously you have to like know how to use it mm. and. Mm. It took a lot of like perfecting and stuff to like know how to do it and like just like you know like just making it seem realistic because like in the beginning it was just like 2d yes yeah for sure and like similar. it took yeah. so long to like be able to like get the shading and you know yeah it's just time yeah to learn all the ins and outs of the program yeah and, and like as i got does. better i was like oh like i can actually like add detail and i can yeah you know play around and like play around with contour and shading yeah. and hair and like that's my favorite part like i love doing <laughs> the eyebrows and i love doing the hair and the eyes like that's it's hilarious. literally my favorite <laughs> yeah wow and did you use the same program to do the logo because yes. you didn't have a picture to go for that yeah i use the same one do you know so, what's the coolest thing about the logo that you told me still blows my mind to this day? She's waiting in suspense. I like it. She's like, what, what did I do with the logo? <laughs> what did I say? What did I what do? Did I do? <laughs> <laughs> you told me that the microphone in the logo is not actually a stock photo. Because I was like, sorry, because we're, 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 we're you know, trying to be like as not sued as possible. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're like, is there any copyright imagery in the logo? And she was like, no, Andrew, the, the microphone. I was like, Dude. Yeah, that was the craziest <laughs> part. That was like, so sick. The amount of detail on that microphone. Like, you could have just yeah, done it's like, a lot. Yeah. two squares and been like, that's a microphone. But, I mean, it's just... No, I can't do that, hey. Detail. I mean, if you saw the sketches me and Tristan did, it was literally <laughs> like, we make Stickman look ugly, bro. So, we're just like, <laughs> trying to draw... Like, we're trying to draw... It was crazy. Like, you know, if you ever look on WhatsApp, like the, the voice notes yeah, yeah. symbol, and it just... Like, okay. oh, my and I was trying to do it in Word. So, <laughs> oh my goodness! I made like a, a circle, That's like a circle, <laughs> and then I put like a line, and then I put like another semicircle, yeah. and then it's crazy. I felt like I felt very cool when I was like I I, click, I controlled and clicked all of them, and I was like group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Object, and he was like, we can move this little <laughs> thing that's nothing as one thing. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, know, so you did use the same program for the yeah. for the logo and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you do you ever think of like graphic design and doing logos and stuff like that? I was thinking about it, um, but that would mean like obviously expanding the business a lot. Mm. And sure, right now I don't think I have the capacity to like expand the business. Obviously because of varsity and stuff, and yeah. because Studies that keeps me like so preoccupied, and it has to take yeah. like a lot of time, very time consuming. And you know, this is like just on the side mm. when I have time. Obviously, I'm going to do the orders like when you can. they say they need mm. to be done. Like I'll yeah. do it by the due date, but I have to like make time for it mm. specifically. Yeah, you probably set yeah. up time frames and yeah. you make schedules and yeah. do all that yeah. interesting stuff. Yeah. And she's basically saying, stay in school, kids. <laughs> yeah, stay in school, kids. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, can we fast forward? You finish your degree at the end of this year, right? Well, first degree. Become law, yeah. Degree. Yeah. So... Yeah. 
what is the plan after that? Are you just going to expand your business and make that your main thing? Or are you planning on studying further or? Um, so after this year, I'm yeah. going to do like my LLB, which will take two more years. Okay. After that, I'm going to have to do my articles, which will take two <laughs> more years. And then, you know, then I'll have to start working. So yeah. that's what I want to do. Like mm. I'm going to focus on law and like that okay. career. So the art's still going to be Still going to be on the side, side yeah. yeah. Okay. So you see yourself doing a future with art, but obviously yeah. not as the main thing. But yeah. Just always Maybe in the future when like, obviously I have more time and like, I'll expand it. But right mm. now I think it's fine where it is. <laughs> yeah, no. 100%. Obviously, because I'm working by myself as well. And I yeah. think maybe when you get, yeah. if like, not when you get better, obviously. Oh, that, that statement's a bit <laughs> shady. shady no, bro. Yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> well, like, you are an incredible artist. Let, it, Thanks, let dude. the record show. You know? Thanks, dude. But like, obviously when you get better, obviously with time, maybe it will yeah. become easier, but quicker to do certain yeah. things. Because I saw this massive like TikTok trend, you know. Oh, look at us, 20-year-olds talking about TikTok. Come on, son. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so... Basically, it's people redesigning logos very badly. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. So basically, well, like there's famous logos like Coke, famous, and Mike Coke, and uh, sure. soccer teams. So there's two sides of this. Obviously, there's the tryhards that do it <laughs> properly. Like I did graphical design at school. I'm a I'm a graphical design major. So obviously, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I got my marketing degree. So yeah. anyway, and that, and they all like try to redo it, redraw it properly, and then you get this one girl. She does it as like jokes, and she makes it like. The most disgusting, like not disgusting. But That's always what happens, though, and then she blows up, right? She she blowed up, <laughs> and like if you go on TikTok, if you go onto like official Amazon or if you go to official TikToks of certain big companies, you'll just yeah. see it's like not their normal logo. It's like a messed up version of their logo. And it is. Yeah, and it's That's wild. She must really? Be selling it today. That's crazy. No, That's she gets it for free. I'm sure she's just banging money on views, bro. Uh, she's getting views. I'd be so disappointed sure. if I made something that like fortune 500 companies are using <laughs> and i'm not making any money off of it oh but she's getting lots of yeah that's stuff. true actually i'm sure she's getting a commission i mean surely yeah i mean i'd be i'd just be cross because <laughs> i think she'd be dumb not to get a commission from my coke or something mm. yeah yeah because those are big companies mm. so yeah besides yeah. just getting clapped <laughs> <laughs> yeah from all of our like 17 viewers hopefully if we're lucky <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. so yeah no psy could definitely i feel like if you went into an ironic um logo making mm. i don't know you never know <laughs> yeah film the process and whatnot yeah but i mean would you ever consider like merging the two in a way like doing like a patent law or like more of a creative law like for entertainment or are you because you think become law are you yeah. planning more staying like the corporate side I think I'm planning on staying more on the corporate side. Okay. Yeah. I haven't really thought about that actually, but I think yeah. I'll I think I'll stay <laughs> on the corporate side. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough, yeah. Cuz mm. the entertainment is wild. Yeah, I know it has hit me because <laughs> like as I'm sure you, when we remember when we went to career law career days back in first year. I yeah. said Korea, bro. I was like you went to visit Kim Jong Un for no reason. Yeah, Korea. No, no. I, I, <laughs> Back up my homie, bro. I'm like Dennis Rodman, anyway. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Um, but yeah, they were like, uh, copyright law and patent law is one of the biggest up and coming because of all yeah. the digital yeah. apps and art yeah. and stuff that's coming together. Mm, for sure. Yeah, especially like, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really apply to like things like NFTs though, because that's just got the, the blockchain with like mm. the records and stuff. By the way, have you heard of NFTs? And sorry, we're trying to merge because she also does accounting and stuff like that. And yeah. art, so we're trying to like merge all of her <laughs> interests. Yeah. So have you ever heard of NFTs, Bitcoin? I'm sure you've heard, heard of I've heard of Bitcoin, yeah. 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 So NFTs is basically you create a piece of art and then you assign a code or you assign a, a computer program to it. And yeah. that it, it sticks with that piece of art. So if this piece of art, if you want to make it an NFT, for example, I don't know, we're probably butchering it. What an <laughs> NFT is. Yeah, but it's the digital version though, not the like physical Hard copy, version. yeah. Yeah, and then, so the digital version is like, got this record that can show from the creator, all the owners. So there's no way you can like forge it or anything. So yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it was, I think it was Steph Curry. He bought, it's like a monkey in a suit or something. Like a little drawing mm. thing. And he paid like $600,000 for it. And like you lie. all you can do is like make it his display picture on Facebook. <laughs> That's crazy. It's wild. It's literally just for clout. 
But yeah, sure. that's ridiculous money. So when are you getting into NFTs? Yeah. And when are we gonna get our cut? And I'm joking. <laughs> Andrew, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Never, so yeah any thoughts on like doing future like stuff i like, haven't thought about it mm. um maybe if i do more research and like yeah. i get into it then maybe it's possibility mm. hey yeah. yeah are you into bitcoin and like ethereum and the other crypto yeah as an stuff? accounting student what are your thoughts on um i've done a few lectures on it actually but mm. i don't think it's really recognized in south africa as much as a currency mm. yet yeah. I think like as they bring it into legislation and you know then it'll like be more yeah, recognized the regulations yeah. and everything but I think we'll get yeah. there eventually right yeah. now they just like still like you know but iffy about it yeah definitely like yeah. Elon Musk and the CIA when they buy all of it then then the prices go up all the way up <laughs> yeah just so gonna... I'm holding on to like my two cents of bitcoin and then I'm going to be a millionaire hopefully that's the plan just we'll see what to the moon son just to the moon to the moon <laughs> to the moon I can imagine Sai in like five or like ten years from now just writing legislation on bitcoin going I'm these finished. folks called it oh my word <laughs> Like, what? Yeah, I'll definitely give you guys a shout out, eh? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine in the, in the Bitcoin Legislation Act of what, 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 2097? Yeah. <laughs> According to the Fundamental Podcast. <laughs> imagine, yeah. Well, we're the greatest Bitcoin journalists of all time. Shout out to Andrew Schultz, because we're the greatest journalists of all time. That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of our favorite comedians in America. He yeah. Just, do you know what's the thing? You basically will say, you'll make random claims. You haven't, you'll have no information on anything. <laughs> and then you'll just claim to be the greatest journalist of it. Imagine. Yeah. And oh. it's the funniest thing <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so yeah. actually, sorry, now just to get back on topic, let's, you know, rain the horses <laughs> in, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, like, what were your influences? Like, do you look at any art influences? Any people you look to for influence? Um... So, like, I went on Instagram and, like, when I had the idea, mm. I went on Instagram and, like, I looked at, you know, which accounts were open, like, who did digital art and, like, who were commissioning. And I saw that, like, no one actually really offered commission art as much in South yeah. Africa. And that, for me, like, inspired me to, like, you know... um start this business and mm, yeah. provide the service yeah, actually, for yeah. South Africans. Yeah. yeah. Because so many things that are available in other countries aren't available here, like makeup brands, like for mm. example, like that's the only thing I can think of right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many of them like aren't yeah. available here. And like, you see them like all over like TikTok, Instagram, and like, you're like, why can't I have this? Like yeah. everyone is using it. And it's, I just wanted to like, you know, be included in like mm. the new, like, trains and like you know provide south africa with like yeah, that yeah. service and development yeah and this into a first world country let's go yeah <laughs> yeah no 100 percent. we have to innovate that's like yeah. i feel like yeah. our yeah. job yeah as the, because the previous generation is slacking no offense in my opinion <laughs> yo, yo. Just gotta let them know gotta let them know and yeah no we have to innovate like yeah exactly the, the way you saw art was the way me and tristan saw podcasting yeah. or our, well, eventual like our YouTube channel because yeah. there's a gap in the market like there's yeah not many there's South African creators and shout out to all them South African creators we are yeah. at war together <laughs> but uh, you know like we need to innovate because yeah. we're just consuming everything's just American and or like yeah. made mainstream countries like England yeah. and America there's no South African YouTuber that stands out yeah exactly yeah yeah I agree. Yeah, so that's what we were trying to do. Mm. And yeah, now you're a part of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to do it. Like, I back you guys yeah. 100%. Thank you. That yeah. means a lot. And I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually want to know, what made you, like, because you have, like, a very interesting 3D art style. How did you, yeah. A, transition maybe from 2D to 3D? How did that work for you? Um, it took a very long time. Mm. Um, especially in the beginning, like I told you, like, it took forever to just try and, like, figure out how the app actually works yeah. and all the you know like things that they provide and how to like figure out how to use brushes and use the layers and mm. like just manipulate um the but app 2d art is available on, like you can do 2d on yeah that. okay cool yeah um but it's basically like i just researched i went mm. on tiktok i youtube i checked um like tips on procreate and 
that's literally what I did for like mm. a week or two. And like, I just, you know, like took time and like learned. And then I tried it myself and I was like, wow, mm. like this is not that bad. And mm. then as I practiced and practiced and practiced, it got better. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Putting art practice, schools practice, out practice. of yeah. <laughs> Putting art schools out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I mean, yeah. I mean, I haven't spoken to someone that's been to like an art school. In forever. Yeah, I mean, you just teach yourself online and stuff. Yeah. It's the new way. Mm. <laughs> just to quit, is this a paid app or is this a free app? No, it's paid app. Okay, paid mm. app. So, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Scrounge some map, cash together if you're an up-and-coming artist and this yeah. could be the way, this could be the future. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, now we're just pausing the episode for a bit. I'm just here to remind you to please visit the YouTube page, subscribe to the YouTube page, like the video, leave a comment, let us know your thoughts, your feelings, give us a comment. All information will be super helpful for us. And uh, oh yes, hit the notification bell, ring the icon so that you don't miss an episode. Yeah, and also please follow us on Instagram at the underscore fundamental underscore podcast and like our photos, leave some comments. And watch out for all our latest clips as well as behind the scenes pictures and clips. Cool. Back to the episode. And we are back from the break. How was it, guys? Just nice little chill out. Yeah. yeah. Refocus. <laughs> get back into the swing of things. Yeah. So one thing we're talking during the break and we're mm. like really wondering was, um, you know, like you made our faces in really great detail. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. How does it go modeling the face, the noses, the eyes? Because I remember you were telling me you struggled with my lips. Yeah, it's very yeah. intricate. Yeah. yeah. Um, Why do you hate my lips? I don't hate your lips, Andrew. Uh, that's the one feature, like, no matter what um, art piece I'm doing, I yeah. always struggle with the lips. I have no idea why. I think it's because when you look at a picture of someone, even yourself, mm. there's, like, shading on, like, the inner corners of the mouth. Yeah. And like just getting like, you know, the the texture and like, you know, yeah. the coloration mm. to suit the skin. Because yeah. on Procreate, they give you the option like, so remember I told you in the first layer, you put yeah. down the actual picture. Yeah. You can like tap on like a certain area and like it'll give you a color. Mm. Oh, wow. That's like the color good. of, <laughs> yeah. So you don't have but to be it, searching for it. It's... No, I do. Like it doesn't work. Oh, well, so like when I like match good. it to like your yeah. skin color, it's not the same at all. Oh, so okay. I literally have to like go and look for like colorations that will match like your skin tone and like yeah, it just the shading of mm. it like just takes forever. But um, the eyebrows are my favorite. I don't know why. I just love doing <laughs> the eyebrows and the eyes are sort of like perfected. You must have had a treat with me and Tristan's eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> they were like bushy. I don't know. The <laughs> eyebrows are like just gorgeous. Mm. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the eyes are like also my favorite part. Like just the way like I do them and like the shading and stuff. Mm. Like I've gotten really good. Yeah. Compared to like the first few that I've done, they were like they were really bad. Like compared oh, really? to like yeah what I do like recently. Mm. Um, and I think it's just practice. Like yeah. Like learning from people and like TikTok and. Mm. YouTube and like just seeing how they do um, the shading and stuff and like I've learned and like it's gotten so much easier now. Way easier. Yeah. Mm. I respect that you got like the, the fade, the fresh fade on my... <laughs> yeah, I tried it. Eh? I know how important that is for guys. Like, Sorry, um, Jane. It's, it's quality. No, I went like, yeah. like super and you also gave me, also, you also gave me, I can enunciate. Uh, you also gave me a nice sort of five o'clock shadow. I've yeah. never in my life a five o'clock shadow, but mm. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Was it just like something you took from like the stock photo and stuff yeah. like that? Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm on the road to get a beard, son. <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey. What can you say? It is a journey. You just <laughs> got to keep going. Eh? Yeah. But yeah, like in terms of your style, like how long did it take you to develop your like unique style like apart from just doing like generic stuff you know what i mean i get you yeah so like the generic stuff is basically simple 2d stuff like yeah. line art or just you know um outlining a picture with no shading like literally just like simple two color outlines like your skin tone your hair color yeah sometimes like a mouth like that kind of stuff yeah 
no facial details. Now, that's how like most commission artists who do digital art sell art pieces. And I was like, you know, like not everyone mm. wants that. Um, yeah, they want a bit more than just the basics. <laughs> yeah, because when I did that, I was like, I don't, I don't think I like this because I tried yeah. it and I was like, I don't think I like this. So like I tried like, you know, filling in details and like adding to it and like trying to make it as realistic as I possibly could. Yeah. And in like doing that, in doing that, like researching and stuff, I was able to like get to the point to where I am. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So quite a process. <laughs> yeah, a very long process. Mm. Yeah. So how long have you actually been doing the art for? A couple of years? Uh, like digital the, art. Yeah, the digital art. I started this year. This year. Oh, wow. So yeah. you got good pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. What's, what's underrated, I feel, in this picture is basically the, sh the, the shadows you yeah. put on the face. Like, I feel like yeah. very underrated. Yeah. yeah. You've done it phenomenally. Like Thanks. Even on the top of the eyelid. Like yes. The, just because like when things. you don't do all of that, it looks doesn't look like you. Yeah. 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It it feels like you just took a stock image from Google and yeah. <laughs> edited yeah. it a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. most people think digital art is. Like I don't think they realise that you actually have to be able to draw. Yeah, mm. it's still drawing, it's just on a tablet. On the yeah. Tablet, mm. but yeah. Yeah. Any what like stereotypes you wanna like like get like clear out, you know, yeah. clear out any debunk. Yeah, yeah. debunk, uh, any views on like digital art um so like obviously with traditional art mm. it's literally a canvas and your paintbrush or a physical medium like yeah. a crayon or chalk or you know charcoal oil yeah. paints and stuff like yeah. that yeah watercolor mm. and the main difference between digital art and uh traditional art is i don't have a canvas i have an ipad mm. and i don't have a paintbrush i have an apple pencil but that doesn't make it any mm. easier yeah. at yeah. all. Um, it just makes the process a lot faster, I feel. Mm. Because you can, if you make a mistake, you can literally just erase it. Yeah. Like, you can undo it. It's yeah. like Word. <laughs> I would need that quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <constantly laughs> yeah. And the fact that you get different layers and you can add like that, it just helps you, you know, draw and like make your art better than... Mm how you do it traditionally like i know like disrespect to tra traditional art like i love traditional art yeah. like i love going to like museums and stuff but um you know moving forward i think mm. that this is a great way to like you know um it's un underappreciated intertwine maybe, yeah mm. modern yeah. technology and art yeah she's and calling traditional like, art out she's saying it's it's uh outdated i'm joking but no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. Um. So, some of your recent artwork. Uh, can you name one or two of your favorite art pieces that you've done recently besides um, our own? Yeah, which is clearly the best. But yeah. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, if you look on my Instagram page at Sketch by Sai, please follow, hey, uh, like, and follow. Yeah, yeah, on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Um. My favorite one was, the eye. You know that blue eye with the freckles. Mm, yeah. I don't think you guys have seen it, but that sure. was one of my favorites. And the last post that I did um, of that Indian girl with mm. the red sari and stuff, Correct. that was one of my favorites. And you did work mm. like, in completely traditional uh, yeah. uh, garb, right? So clothing? Yeah. And uh, is that a Indian tradition or a Hindu tradition? or? Um, it's more like a Tamil thing. Like I tried to mm. draw her in like a Tamil style, um, because I'm Tamil okay. and like the whole theme was like Indian and I just tried to like incorporate like a part of me into that. Mm. And I wanted to do that because, you know, I'm Indian and a lot of my customers are Indian and mm. I just wanted to like, you know, relate to them because my other art pieces and artwork were like literally like just modern yeah and like i love that stuff don't get me wrong yeah that's why I, yeah, yeah that's why i like post that like that's my aesthetic but you wanted to get maybe back to your roots yeah. more you know yeah yeah and uh how did you like get the inspiration where did you research such you know where did you the indian art yeah you um just know from i just like... came came up with the idea and i mm. was like i think that you know if people 
if like Indian people see that they're being represented in that mm. way, then you know it'll encourage them to like, um, like look into my page and like mm. order and you know. Well, might be out the blue. Sorry, might don't want to catch you off guard. But what are like your thoughts on like the representation and the views and like how South Africans view Indians? Sure. And so um, heavy, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, that is heavy. It took a left. <laughs> But no, it doesn't have to be that yeah. heavy. Just what like do you feel like Indians get the views and like get the appreciation that you guys deserve, or like, how, what do you think the culture, how the culture is affected being in South Africa? Um, sure. Okay, so this is a, like a political question. Yeah, you ever kinda. A mayor? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like South Africans love Indian culture, like our mm. food and like our dressing and yeah. just like the henna and you know like our hair and you know all of that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. and i don't think that personally i haven't received any hate from anyone but i'm sure some people have mm. and i'm sorry if you have but for me personally i don't think that there's any animosity between me or any other race mm. and i personally don't have any animosity between yeah. any other race like that's such an outdated way to think and yeah, it is. to behave and i don't condone that behavior and i'm not friends with anyone who's like that and yeah. if you are then please don't be my friend anymore yeah, leave. get <laughs> yeah. out of here yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, um anyway yeah. circling back <laughs> <laughs> to art um i also want to say like um in terms of the digital art like it, am i correct in saying it's a bit more versatile because if you do like a, a physical drawing like you only have one copy and it's a lot harder to distribute or yeah and yes. distribute yeah, yeah. it is just, a lot more versatile yeah. yeah yeah you're right um because i can save it as a picture like on my gallery yeah. i can um send it as a pdf yeah. I can literally like go and print it and print like how many how many ever copies you want. Yeah. And it just makes it so much mm. more easier um to like distribute and like, you know, see if my client like actually likes what they're doing because when someone orders I like send you like the digital when I'm done. Yes. And if you're not happy with it then obviously I can change it. And do it to your liking and yeah like a first draft almost yeah and then, yeah you can go back and yeah touch it up if necessary. because like if i had to do it on canvas or something or a piece of paper physical piece of paper then you know obviously that mistake will be very very difficult to yeah. correct because <laughs> you'd literally either have to draw over over something or mm. you'd have to erase it and that'll just take so much of time yeah but because i'm doing it on procreate i can literally like just you know delete the layer or like redo it and then everything else won't be affected yeah so it's so it's easy yeah yeah and also more durable i guess because like yeah. for pencil sure. can fade over time yeah. and stuff with this if something goes wrong with it i mean you can just reprint yeah. it if necessary yeah and yeah. also the clients can i assume like do more with it like if they want to print it on a mug yeah. or something yeah or a keychain yeah. yeah i was about yeah sticking with that like what yeah. are your thoughts on like if someone you you commission you get commissioned for art and then someone takes that art and then like like makes like puts it on coffee mugs puts it on this are you cool with that i don't mind doing that like my name is on that digital mm. Mm. like i don't know if you guys saw like in the top um right corner my name is there okay yeah, sign it like a pro <laughs> yeah um so i don't mind um yeah. at all like it's your digital it's your like you paid for it, it's your yeah. order like i okay. don't mind so you like do whatever you want yeah. to it because i know some people uh like they don't want it like getting put on any random thing i understand yeah but you know, you're fine with that so yeah like i don't issue. mind yeah. okay cool, 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 cool. <laughs> it's going everywhere <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make coffee mugs salad no. yeah. t-shirts yeah yo crazy that's a <laughs> next step never thought about t-shirts yeah yeah well, hopefully we're gonna get some t-shirts Bro. Fundamental t shirts, bro. Whole fashion line. <laughs> Whole fashion line. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But yeah. So, also, I wanted to ask you about, like, obviously the crazy times we're living in with COVID and everything. Yeah. Like, how has that affected you and what have you enjoyed about it? Because 
while it is obviously a terrible situation, like there are some positives, I'm sure, like not having to go to varsity every yeah. day in person, things like that. So how's that been for you? Um, in the beginning, it was very, very difficult and yeah. just adjusting to like living at home with my parents again and um, not being able to go anywhere or see anyone and literally like just being confined to your house. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it obviously like took a lot. It took a toll on mm. not just me. I'm sure it took a toll on everyone. Yeah. Um, it was very difficult. And like, I feel like the fact that we all got through this, mm. we should all be proud of ourselves and, you know, that we actually got to this point yeah. and <laughs> we we're all it. okay. <laughs> yeah. And things are getting yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it was difficult, but I feel like it was good for me. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned that, you know, it's okay to like be by mm. yourself and it's okay to enjoy time with yourself. And, yeah. you know, like I've learned to like enjoy that, like to just be by myself and be in my own space. And I yeah. don't really need like, like obviously friends are important. Yeah, but you don't have to feel the social pressures exactly. of trying to meet expectations exactly. or stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Mm. 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 And yeah, no, just a pat on the back, you know. <laughs> yeah. A whole pandemic just, just <laughs> casually survived it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did sure. survive. No, and but yeah. what are you thinking? Are you thinking there's going to be like vaccine mandates to force us to come back to varsity? Like, what's your thoughts? Because some people, not in, not me, I, I believe you know everyone should just get jabbed to get vaxxed. Are you guys vaxxed? Um, yeah. First off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay nice. So far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Please get vaccinated. Yes. Please. Please. Yeah. So you're thinking, do you think universities would use that tactic of getting the mandate to force people to vaccinate to get on campus? I or? think Cape Town is implementing that, UCT. Mm. Really? Wow. I think so. I'm not sure. Don't, sure. don't quote <laughs> me on it. Um, Nothing's factual, yeah. but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. I think um, UP might follow suit do you, and do the same. Do you think it's the, there's legality behind it in their actions? Probably. Mm. Because... I don't know, it goes against some of your fundamental rights to like force you to get vaccinated. Like if, mm. if you if you don't yeah. want to get vaccinated, like that's your personal decision. Some might argue, sorry, I'm just going to play devil's advocate. <laughs> some might argue that like, you know, it's a private institution and as such, they, you true. sign a, a guide, yeah. you sign, you true. sign and you... That's true. I personally feel like everyone should be vaccinated, mm. not just for yourself, but for, for people around, around you. Mm. Yeah. 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 But that's the thing, like you're saying, everyone has like a, obviously a right to make their own decisions. Yeah. But also like with that comes the responsibility to True. society and True. everyone that you come into contact with. Because, yeah, yeah that's, it's that's tricky. Important. And I mean, like yeah. even in the like MBA and the professional schools mm, and things 100%. like that. Mm. I mean, uh, I think it's New York and LA. No, yep. uh, I think it's San Francisco, not LA. That has the mandate and like some of the basketball players... Don't want to get vaccinated. And some of them can't even play home games. They don't want to, they can't yeah. play home games. And now they're not even going to get paid. They're not going to get paid That's for crazy. the games they miss because they don't have a vaccine. So yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy world. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And in terms of varsity though, I'm sure being online, it probably gave you more time to work on things like your art and stuff. Um, oh, sure, not, so not necessarily. <laughs> oh, wow, really? really? Yeah. No, do you know what's the thing? I feel like to compensate for us not being there, to make it like not harder but like to, to keep the level because yeah to maintain the standard to maintain the standard yeah, of your degree right, I they put i feel more volume oh yeah a lot of people think like oh because you're online it's so easy now like no it's yeah, not no, easy no yeah. it's not easy <laughs> that's one of the biggest things yeah. i i'm sure i want to get your thoughts on one of the biggest things that made me upset about this whole pandemic is that it's turned my home space into my workspace which i'm not yeah. too happy about yeah. how have you been able to balance um, you, like addressing that, a lot of people recommend that, you know, your study, pay, your study place and your resting place and the place where you sleep and the place where you relax, it shouldn't be the same place. Mm. Like you should have a place designated yeah. to study, a place designated to rest and a place designated, like, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. And now because of the pandemic, that space is literally like you do everything in that space. Um, yeah. And as you know, it's awkward when you're lying in bed trying to watch some YouTube and TikTok, thing. and then you can yeah. just check your pile of books going. <laughs> yeah. I, I, are you slacking? Oh, <laughs> nice. No. Yeah, because yeah. like it definitely affected my focus in the beginning because I'm like, oh, like I'm just at home, like it's fine. Like I'm, mm. I wasn't like in a study mode, and yes, that yes, really yes. affected me for a while. But you learn, like you adapt, and 
I'm obviously fine now. Like everything's chilled now. But last year was a bit difficult. And trying to get, I live in a, a loudish house, <laughs> not going to lie. Yeah. So trying to get everyone to be quiet for like two, three yeah. hours at a for time sure, to write yeah. a test is like, so just mm. just a bit stressful. Yeah. Because then you got yeah. like, my grand comes over and then like all my, my brother's yeah. doing something and it's just like. Yeah, there's so many factors you mm. can't control. Yeah. Like we, I miss, sometimes I miss exam venues, but yeah. Yeah, and I miss the library and. <laughs> mm. That, that yeah. old Sambo library was. The oh, best day. The best. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not privileged enough to get in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Most UP students can't get in there. Just saying. Yeah. You know. Just, I think it's only the. I think it's only the law students, eh? Hey? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, it, is it law library? Yeah, law library. Yeah, yeah, law library. Yeah. yeah, but you have to go to. You have to sh- like go back to Marinsky and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even. He doesn't even know. That's the thing. About you don't know. Really? really? No, I, I've I've been there. Have you even been once. on the campus? I, I've been there to hand in like a form or something. And oh I handed it in like at the gate. So I haven't even been on campus. Campus is like amazing. I oh. love that going on <laughs> campus every day. Yeah. I loved it. Buying overpriced coffee. No. <laughs> yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, from what I saw from the outside, it's so, so different from like the Stellenbosch mm. campus. Really? Because the Stellenbosch campus, it's not like one thing with like a fence around you know what I mean? It's just buildings on different street blocks next to each other. Like, that's crazy. You just walk into class. Sure. There's, it, it's it's so. Yeah, I'm right to just put your student card on the door, and then it opens up to most you. Most of the doors and are then just you open. Just, to be are they just oh, not even yeah. student cards? Sure. Just, there is a thing to tap, but most of the doors are just like yeah kept open. So you just walk in. I mean, yeah, it, it's very much more open and more of like a, I guess like a small town living in the city kind of vibe yeah. at the same time. Yeah, you just walk around. But I mean, that also comes with some downsides because, I mean, you might be walking to class and you get, like, harassed by people asking for money or something. Sure, so, yeah. Yeah, a few of my friends have been through that, which is quite That's crazy, yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, it's generally quite safe with, like, campus security and stuff. Mm. Yeah. And it's mostly students there. But still, it's... Yeah, it's oh. a apparently big, big Hatfield difference. is like very very unsafe now. Is it to really? just go to the go crazy? Yeah, wow, I think it's really? very unsafe. I think do you know what I think? I think when most because it's like five but or ten percent of students still live in Hatfield, even yeah. though it's online. Yeah. like it's a small percentage of students. Yeah, when most I think, people are not there. Yeah. So I think it'll become safer because students like sort of protect each other. Yeah, we like move in groups. <laughs> yeah, we do. We move in groups and stuff like yeah. that. And like, I know like res guys just like will walk at res girls home or like walk. Yeah. You know, like. Sure, just, that's nice. Mm, I've heard, I've heard some of the res guys will do it, you know, because yeah. they get brother, sister reses and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. Sure. I mean, in Stellenbosch, there was this thing where you could actually, I only saw one or two people use it because most people just went with friends. But if you are on your own, like studying in the library or something late at night, and you're a bit concerned about safety, there's a number you can phone and like one of the campus security guards will walk you home. So, That's so nice. Yeah. Tux also yeah. has that, just, just putting really? it down. Really? Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> yeah. I never knew. We need to use our services <laughs> properly. Yeah. yeah, we need We're to. We're paying for these no. things. We must use <laughs> Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. Oh, no. But yeah. No, thanks for coming, Sai. Si. No, you're just welcome. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for doing so much yeah. artwork for us. You're and welcome, guys. In a short guys. space of time. She did it within like a month. It was, it's yeah, it was crazy. Insane. I so. don't think I've even done that much falsity work. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah. thank you. I will see you in the trenches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we are, but that's cool. us. Are we going to, we, obviously, we're going to plug your stuff in the, in the bio, well, in the description of the yeah, video. Yeah, if you can just say Thanks, it one guys. more time for all the listeners. Please follow at Sketched by Sai on Instagram, um, Facebook, and TikTok. Blow up yeah. her, her, her. Make, make sure, yeah, blow up her account. Make sure she, she has business for like the next guys. 27 years. <laughs> yeah. And also don't forget to follow us at the underscore fundamental underscore podcast on Instagram. And yeah, just keep up to date with all our new stuff. Mm. Hit, the, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You know, do all the YouTube stuff and that's it. Thanks, guys. Peace. Cheers.